our listeners, thanks again for tuning into Sin's workshop. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, today we're going to be talking about Dune. This is truly a staple in sci fi fantasy, and I'm kind of kicking myself in the butt for not reading it earlier. I mean, this is a book that's been lit- sitting on my bookshelf for about five to six years now. Um, and. I haven't seen the new Dune movie. I made I made a vow to myself. I would not see the new Dune movie <laughs> until I read this book. And I say that because I've watched the Dune miniseries like a thousand times. I own it on DVD. I want it on Blu-ray, but I can't seem to find it. And I've seen the Children of Dune um, miniseries as well. I love them. I used to tune in every month on sci- for a miniseries month on the Sci-Fi Channel just to watch Dune. I mean, it's such a great story. And I have to say, I was intimidated by Dune, you know, the book. I was intimidated, and that was part of my fear of why I didn't read it. Those fears were stupid. <laughs> Never let fear stop you from reading something that you want to read. That is my new motto in life. It looked really intimidating, um, but it was so accessible. I mean, Frank Herbert's writing is 100% incredible. There's an ease to it. Even though there is so much complexity, the complexities really go in the storytelling, you know, in the plot, you know, with the political intrigue, the assassinations, you know, you do have a lot of religious undertones, you do have a lot of political undertones, and they do set the stage for the story in a very compelling way. It does create a very rich story for you to reader to be sucked into and engrossed in, and it's just so compelling to see all these different layers. I mean, there's just so much to unpack. I don't think I can do it in a nice brief podcast review, even in my physical review. It's a lot to unpack, but there is an ease to Frank Herbert's writing. More importantly, I also don't want to spoil it for you. Um, If you've seen the movie, you kind of already know the story, but reading it is is always such a different experience, you know? It's just, you know what's going to happen. And then seeing everything in the story unfold, you also get different perspectives, you know? You get Duke Leto Atreides' perspective. You get Paul's perspective, Lady Jessica, the Baron, his nephew. There are so many different points of views in this story, but it's so easy to follow. And the Mentat, you know, his uh, Pieter, um, the Baron's Mentat. There's a lot of voices. But again, Frank Herbert writes with such clarity. I mean, is it any wonder why this book won awards? <laughs> it's so well done. It is so engaging. that it ultimately does leave you want more like me I want to read Messiah and I want to read um children and heretics and God Emperor and new chapter house I want to read it all now (laughs) Dune has just sucked me into this universe and I can't get enough of it because again it's very accessible it moves very fast I mean The speed at which I read this book astonished even me because I was just so sucked into the story. And I was just like, I want more. I need more. I want to read this universe. This such, this magnificent universe that Frank Herbert has built up into, I mean, this is truly a space opera for the ages. It's no wonder it is deemed a classic now as far as science fiction is concerned. And when you get all these different perspectives, you're seeing the complexity of the character. Some characters, like the Baron, are simply vile. They are vile. But again, 
there are complexities to their nature that go hand in hand with how they're raised and how the universe is designed. You know, Lady Jessica, she was raised as a Bene Gesserit. And instead of giving birth to a daughter, she chose a son. Why did she choose a son? Was it just for her own ego or was it for her husband? You know, there is... And then you have Paul, you know. I mean, Paul himself is such a complex character. He goes, oh, his character development is absolutely amazing. To go from Duke's son to Mahdi, it's such a magnificent shift in development of his characterization, his personality, and you're seeing just like, wow, it's phenomenal. Um, <laughs> it is truly a classic. It's brilliant to read. It's effortlessly told. I mean, it's so easy to read, really. You don't have to be intimidated about this. If you like science fiction and you haven't read Dune, um, do yourself a favor. Go to your nearest bookstore and buy a copy of Dune. I mean, I can't stress this enough. It's magnificent. It really is a magnificent staple of science fiction. And it's no wonder it's going to be remembered for the ages. So... Um, five out of five stars, hands down, like there was any argument. <laughs> um, five out of five stars. If you want to go ahead and purchase the book, I will include links in the description below on where to purchase. And on that note, I hope you all will continue to support me here by liking this podcast, subscribing to the channel, and sharing it with all your book-loving friends. You can also become a supporter on Buy Me a Coffee with a one-time $1 donation or by making a $0.99 cent donation on Anchor FM, my recording platform. Links to everything in the description below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and as always, happy reading.